we've just um, left the house. The feeling is strange. We're homeless, but we're here in this five-star hotel. <laughs> well, it's not a hotel. It's our friend's house that's just let us take here. The beautiful garden. It's picture perfect, but mm, there's no element of constructive chaos which is present in nature. And of course, to keep the garden like this, it's a tremendous up, uh, upkeep for the gardener. I think um, he must spend about two, two days a week, two days a week at least, full days, and 16 hours to upkeep this place. And my friend doesn't even stay here. She comes and visits for... She comes and stays here for six days and she goes to the mountains for two weeks. Yeah, it's truly exquisite. It's, it's a very expensive house, but it feels empty. And that the thoughts of suicide could appear within a week after staying here. Not with us, because we've just been sleeping here and we're so grateful to Camilla. Thank you. But uh, an average folk that stays in a house like this, and I don't blame Camilla that she doesn't even stay here because there's hardly any birds. Uh, it, it just feels plastic and dead. The pool is lovely, but it's chlorinated. Yeah, sure, it's clear. And I'm sure for the magazine it would be a really nice picture. But... Um, I don't think she swam in here for about maybe five, ten years. <laughs> and I wouldn't even put my foot in here because chlorine is really, really bad for her skin. So, we are distinguishing two realities. A reality for magazines and TV, and realities which is close to your heart and so you and your partner can live. Yeah, and that's just what we're experiencing. We've just given the house to the... Over, well, it's all empty. I haven't paid the bond, the mortgage for five weeks. Uh, that's our house where the whole Bayveda course has been recorded and so on. Um, yeah, so it's a mere, mere of three months if there's no buyer that the bank takes it over. And um, mixed feelings, of course. 25 years in South Africa, 13 years in this house, and now it's. We're homeless. <laughs> Вчера ночью, да, мы уезжали. Yeah, we, uh, Скажи, как откуда она взялась у нас? She just flew into the window, and I caught her quick, so she doesn't shit all over Camilla's house. Uh -huh. Highly terrible. Прям вот так вот раз с улицы в дверь и залетела как кошечка. Ну вот я выпускаю. Выпускай. Ой! Страдаем, что ресторан не работает, да? Зачем нам ресторан? У нас все есть. Mm -hmm. Свои булочки. Сейчас сделаю зоечки, салатик, а чичи. Вот такие мы красавчики. Тут какое-то э, закрытие дороги или проверяют, или что. Но будет интересно. Второй день после снятия первой ступени карантина, да? Да. И вот такие проверки. Выехать так просто не получается. 
So we're trying to leave the Johannesburg. It's a second day after they've removed the one stage of quarantine. So there's five stages, so they're just one step down. And uh, there's some roadblock out there. I don't know what to say. The governments are pulling their own little tricks, doing what they want, how they want. Uh, I'm also thinking maybe it's better to turn around and find another way because we can just hop over the middle of the road and so they're gonna stop us and um, we have to stand in the skew park our car stand in the skew and basically have our temperature taken um то есть если высокая температура они разворачивают да может быть даже или госпитализируют госпитализируют а уже туда-то какая огромная очередь выросла позади нас, офигеть то есть они совсем не готовы организовали и огромная очередь то есть проверяют быстро достаточно быстро Разрешил. А все, пошли. Вот так люди обходятся с масками, как только проезжает пост и радуются, вот так, как Алёша, прыгает с незримой скакалкой. Поехали! Ура! Почти Россия. Клёны, обветшалы осенние. Видишь, клёны, клёны. Посмотри, вариант. Очень круто. Россиюшка, здесь ели, а здесь клены. Все хорошо, тополя вытянуты. Все, дома. дома. Мы дома. Мы дома. А мы расстраивались. У нас только жизнь начинается. Скинули дом. И вот мы в пути. Скинули дом, вырастили крылья. Автоматические. Да, вырастили да. крылышки. Крылышки начали расти. decided that we're not going to hold on to anything. We do want to find our beautiful piece of land where we'll be running our eco workshops. So we'd like to be further away from all of this insanity and AI and microchipping and uh, vaccinations and all of this stuff. We're just all of it. Wizards capitalism. We're throwing it into the dustbin. Because to eat, you need to have hands and soil and good water and that's what we're after.
Having your own water is number one priority in any permaculture homestead. In our Permaculture in Action online video training, you will learn how to harvest water from roof, hard surface and in the ground. To store the rainwater, you'll learn how to build three types of water reservoirs, as well as an eco pool. This simple biochar filter will treat your rainwater to drinking quality at 300 liters per day. You'll master the construction of earthship inspired reed beds and wetlands, which will allow you to recycle all of your wastewater for organic garden irrigation, methane production, and flushing of loos. You will learn how to build a variety of terraces, which turn your garden into a living sponge, as well as a wall, which can withstand a river and flood. The water self-sufficiency training combines some of the best water tech I've learned from teachers such as Jeff Lawton, John Todd, Mike Reynolds, John Jevons, as well as many others. We, Alosha Linov and Zoe Inkovska, as a family, invite you to join us on an interesting journey where we, without dividing ourselves into socially accepted gender roles, build a new reality of true freedom and happiness. We can proudly state so, as we receive incremental wonderful changes, confirming that our step-by-step stress-free journey to leave the system is working. We daily experience a unity within our family, manifesting multiplication of abundance in all spheres of our lives. Join our water self-sufficiency permaculture in action training risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you.